Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a cool energy ball in Adobe After Effects without any plugins. So let's dive into it. First let's take a look at how this was shot. For the acting the only thing you need to do is pretend you are creating an energy ball. A great tip for making the energy ball look realistic is to have an actual practical light on set. You can then turn this light on at the moment when the energy ball should appear. This really helps to sell the effect. Of course the light should be placed pretty close to the hands, so what I actually did is I recorded two shots on a tripod. In the first one the light is on the right side of the frame, and in the second shot the light is on the opposite side. This way I can use the right side of this shot to cover the light from the first shot. In the next shot the light is not visible, so we can move the camera around just fine. And that's it. Before we start editing, I would like to quickly talk about Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a tool every filmmaker will appreciate. You can find there thousands of creative assets and templates for any kind of project you're working on. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning, and literally anything you'll need. Apart from that, this library also includes awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. Envato Elements is a huge time saver and helps you create videos faster. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's fire up After Effects. First things first, we need to create the energy ball. So create a new composition, then right click, new, solid and choose black color. Apply turbulent noise or fractal noise effect to it. For the fractal type I'm gonna choose rocky, but feel free to experiment with this. Then adjust the contrast and brightness. Next let's animate this. Hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon for evolution. Type in a simple expression, time times 100 or any other number. Now search for CC glass effect and apply it to the layer. Tweak the settings to your liking. Next add CC sphere effect and change the light direction. Now we have something like this. To make this more interesting duplicate the layer, change some settings and set the blending mode to add. Next let's add some light rays. Duplicate the layer again and add the CC radial fast blur effect to this duplicate. Crank up the amount and change the blending mode to add. Then you can create an opening animation by keyframing the brightness and contrast in the fractal noise effect. And you can also animate the scale. If you want to make the ball kind of wobble, you can hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon next to scale and type in wiggle and choose the frequency and amplitude you like. We can also create a glowing circle around the ball. Create a new black solid and draw a circle mask around the ball. Now I'll use Saber which is a free plugin from Video Copilot. Here you can set the core type to layer masks and set the blending mode to add. Then choose one of these presets. Next to colorize this you can use effects like hue and saturation or tint, but something that works particularly well for these kind of effects is the VC color vibrance effect, which you can again find on the Video Copilot website for free. Create a new adjustment layer, apply the effect to it, and simply choose a color you like. And that leaves us with something like this. Now let's bring this into our actual shot. I place the two shots into a new composition. First I synchronize the shot so that the light turns on and off in both shots at the same time. 
Next, grab the pen tool and draw a simple mask around the right side of the frame. Feather it out a bunch. Now we have this. Bring in the energy ball composition, change the blending mode to screen, and adjust the position and scale. To make the energy ball follow the hands, we need to use a bit of tracking. Select the main shot and search for Mocha AE. Open it up and use the Xpline tool to draw a selection around the hands. Then start tracking. Once it's done, save the project and close Mocha. Create a new null object. In the Mocha effect, under Tracking Data, click Create Track Data. Select Transform as the export option and choose the null layer. Then hit Apply Export. Parent the Energy Ball layer to the null. You might need to do a few adjustments for scale and position. Also animate it to make the ball disappear in the end. Don't forget to turn on the motion blur. Now let's add some more light and glow to the energy ball. If you add an effect like CC light rays, you'll see it's limited by the edges of the comp. To fix this, first add solid composite effect and change the color to black. Now we can add the light rays. To make the center follow the ball, again hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon. Here you can parent the center to the position of the null object. Next you can either use a plugin called Trapco Shine or the CC Radio Fast Blur effect. The next step is adding some displacement and distortion around the energy ball. For this I use the displacement map effect. But first we need to create a simple displacement map. Create a new solid and add turbulent noise effect to it. Change some settings and animate the evolution. Then draw a mask around the ball and feather it out. Make sure to pre-compose the displacement map layer and choose Move All Attributes into the new comp. You can turn off the visibility. Create a new adjustment layer and apply the displacement map effect to it. Here choose the displacement map layer and play around with the settings. Try not to go overboard with this. You can also use the camera lens blur effect with the blur map layer set to the displacement map. This way the blur will be only visible in the displacement area. Additionally, add some noise to the energy ball layer to make it blend better with the background. I also added an extra layer of displacement on top of everything using an adjustment layer and the turbulent displace effect. I also made a mask so that it only affects the area around the energy ball. As a final touch, I added some glow at the moment when the energy ball appears using a solid with animated opacity. Apart from that I used the CC light rays effect on an adjustment layer and animated it before the ball appears. Finally pre-compose everything, add some fake camera movement and top it all off with color grading. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.